In this lesson, we are going to compute binomial probabilities using Excel and the binomdist function. So let's start off with this example. It is estimated that 60% of Americans own dogs. In groups of 150 Americans, how many are expected to own a dog? So we are looking for the expected value here. And the expected value is computationally equivalent to the arithmetic mean. When we are working with a binomial distribution, this is easily computed as the fixed number of trials n times the probability of success p. We are talking about owning a dog, so that is success. The probability of owning a dog is 60%. So in 150 Americans, we would expect 150 times 60% or 160% 100, of 150 to own a dog, and that turns out to be exactly 90. Part two, what is the mean and standard deviation for the number of Americans who own a dog in a group of 150? Well, we just computed the mean. That is 90, so that's the same. The mean is 90. Now we need to compute the standard deviation. Remember that for a binomial, the standard deviation is computed as the square root of n times p, the probability of success, times 1 minus p, which is the probability of failure. So here we will do equals square root of n is 150 times p, which is 60% or 0.6, times 1 minus p, where 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0.4. So we have the square root of 150 times 0 0.6 times 0.4, and that gives us 6. Part 3. In a group of 150 Americans, what is the probability that fewer than 100 of them own a dog? So what we want here is the probability that x is less than 100. That means we're looking at the probabilities from 0, add it up, all the way to the probability of less than 100. And since these are whole numbers, we're only going to go up to 99. So we will use our binomdist command, but we want things to be cumulative. So the probability from 0 to 99 will be found using binomdist, which is in the statistical functions. Binomdist, the number of successes, is the highest value we want to add in, so that is 99. The trials is the 150. The probability of success is the 0.6. And since we want to add things up, cumulative is true. So we get 0.944. Next one. In a group of 150 Americans, what is the probability that 90 or more? So here we want the probability that x is greater than or equal to 90, because we want 90 or more. Now, the binom dist command, when we use cumulative set to true, only adds up from 0 to the value of x that we give it. So if we want a greater than, we're going to have to use the law of complements. So we're going to have to do 1 minus everything that is not greater than or equal to 90, which means everything that is less than 90. And since, again, we're working with whole numbers, the first number less than 90 is 89. So we will do 1 minus the probability of less than or equal to 89. So equals 1 minus binome dist. So statistical binome dist. We only want to go up to 89. So the number of successes is 89. We still have the 150 trials where probability of success is 0.6, and we're summing things up so it's true. So notice here, this is the binome dist result. The probability of everything from 0 to 89 is 0.4646. 
we want to compute 1 minus that, so our formula result will be 0.5353. It's okay, and there we have the 0.5353. All right, next one, 5. In a group of 150 Americans, what is the probability that all of them own a dog? So here we're looking for the probability that x is exactly 150 if all of them own a dog. So we will do our binome dist, but since there is no summing, we will have false for cumulative. So exactly 150 is our x, 150 trials, probability of success is 0.6, cumulative is false this time. And notice this E minus 34 means to move the decimal place 34 places to the left, which gives us an itty bitty number that's virtually zero. Okay, next one. In a group of 150 Americans, what is the probability that exactly 90 of them own a dog? So the probability that X equals exactly 90. So we will do the binome dist again with cumulative set to false. So this time we want exactly 90 out of the 150, where the probability of success is 0.6. Single probability, no summing going on, so false for cumulative, and the probability of exactly 90 is 0.066. So the last one here. In a group of 150 Americans, what is the probability that more than half of them own a dog? So more than half, half of 150 is 75, so we want more than 75. Again, whenever we do a more than probability, we must use the rule of complements because the binome dist with cumulative set to true only adds up from zero to a number. So we're gonna do actually one minus the probability of zero up through 75. So it'd be like one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to the 75. So equals one minus binome dist. We only wanna go up to 75 out of the 150 trials. Probability of success is 0.6. We are indeed summing up from zero to 75, so cumulative is true. So here is the sum of the probabilities from zero to 75, 0.008. We want one minus 0.008, so there's a 0.991. I'll round it off 0.992. So hopefully this helps give you examples on how you use the binome dist, when to set cumulative to true, that's when you want to add things up, when to set it to false, when you only want a single probability, cumulative set equal to true. So if we have binome.dist x n p true, cumulative set to true, will add things up. This will basically be the probability of zero plus all the way through the value of the x you give it, which is p, so we'll have here p of x. If you want just, if you do binome.dist with x, n, p, and then false, that's simply going to give you the probability of exactly x. And then if you do 1 minus the binome dist and you put an x in here, comma n, p, and true, that will give you, basically it'll start at 1 bigger than x and that'll be the probability of x plus one plus dot 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 all the way to whatever the number of trials are, all right? 